Question, what is structured water? What's up all my Asian Minute peeps? Thank you for voting on this month's Q&A poll. We really appreciate it. Uh, so the question is, what is structured water? Um, we actually have a video that we produced uh, a couple years ago uh, that I'm going to go ahead and reference in this video um, and basically tell you guys go watch that video because I cover a lot of this topic in there. Uh, but I did want to give you a few insights and then um, just a couple explanations and then we can go ahead and wrap this video up. So let's go ahead and start. All right, so the question is, what is structured water? And this term is kind of like a catch-all term um, because there are uh, physical chemists and researchers that have been looking into this area for a long time. Uh, and it does seem like there are predictive models that water uh, might form fleeting fixed structures uh, and uh, they can last for crazy short times like picoseconds or femtoseconds. So basically, a trillionth of a second, uh, these fleeting structures and what they're basically called bulk phases of water. Um, but this is quite different than what is being popularized online as structured water. Uh, and that model or that idea of what's popularized online is basically floats under this umbrella structured water, micro clustered water, hexagonal water, all these different type of water that basically is saying the same thing that water can have these fixed micro clustered uh, structures to them that is going to be better for your health and going to hydrate you better and um, this model that is popularized online is basically um, what I discuss in our video uh, which is the misconceptions of micro clustering so as I said earlier um, we're gonna go ahead and link that video in, in the description uh, but here are a few insights from that video that will kind of help clear this up for you guys. All right, so the idea or the notion of fixed or microclustered water, um, sometimes called structured water, um, doesn't really have any scientific evidence to support it or any basis from the scientific community that it actually exists. And in fact, uh, this idea or notion of this type of water um, appears to contradict what the scientific evidence is actually stating about what we've discovered about water and how it works. Um, now, this doesn't mean that there aren't more mysteries to be discovered around water, uh, but this current idea or model that's being presented that as being better for us or, or, or can hydrate us better um, doesn't seem to have any scientific evidence to support it. So, for example, I'll give one insight that can uh, seem to work against or contradict what the scientific community has found out about water. So, for instance, um, they believe that uh, the idea is that um, through a product or um, a water ionizer or things of that nature, that water goes from a bulk phase down to these micro clusters, sort of three to five water molecules in a cluster. Um, well, this seems to be very problematic with the idea or the notion that water is always in flux. This is something that we've discovered and that water actually is held together by what's something that's called hydrogen electrostatic bonds. Um, these hydrogen bonds um, are very fairly weak and they break really rapidly. And I, I'm like really rapidly. And what I mean by really rapidly is that um, we've discovered that these van der Waal forces that are being broken between the hydrogen bonds. Uh, between water molecules break at 160 billion times a second. So water is constantly in this flux. So if it's in this flux, how can it be fixed in these little structures? And so this is just one little insight to give you of the contradiction with what we see with structured water that's being popularized online as being good for us versus what we've discovered about water um, and how it works. Uh, and so this is just one thing that I touch on in the actual video, which we touch on more things um, stated about this water uh, and also more facts that we've actually discovered about uh, actual how water works. Um, and uh, and so we go in more depth. One other insight I think would be um, pretty important is that uh, it stated that because these water molecules in structured water would be um, broken down to a smaller size, that it's going to be able to get into our cells better. Um, well, this also goes against or contradicts what we see um, in the scientific literature, which is that water molecules actually go into our cells in a single fashion, um, in a single line fashion. So basically one molecule at a time. 
uh, through a water channel called an aquaporin. These aquaporins can actually transport water molecules into the cell as fast as 3 billion water molecules a second. And so needless to say, I think it's pretty efficient at uh, intaking water molecules into the cell. Uh, and so the idea of these fixed structures being able to get into the cell faster doesn't make sense because they're going to be broken down anyway at the outside of the cell to go in in a single line fashion. So this is another one of those contradictory facts that we see with um, the notion of structured, fixed structured, uh, micro clustered water uh, versus what we actually know about water from the scientific literature. And so, uh, like I said, we got a video on this. We're going to go, it goes in far more depth, but I did want to give you a few facts and give you a, a simple um, explanation around it. Um, and actually uh, tell you guys that the current model that we see right now that's being presented broadly online and being marketed to people uh, doesn't really have any kind of scientific basis behind it. And so uh, that's my answer for this question. And uh, we'll be here to answer your next one next month. So let's go ahead and close this out. All right, everyone. Thank you so much again for voting on this month's Q&A poll. We really appreciate you guys doing it. Um, also, you can follow us on all of our social media platforms. Please subscribe and like this channel. Um, hit the uh, hit the bell for more notifications when we actually release uh, videos. Um, and hitting the like button is going to help us with the, al with the algorithm. We're getting seen more. We definitely want to be able to uh, not only push hydrogen out there farther and, and build a bigger awareness and build a bigger channel, uh, but if you like what we're doing, um, we want your support. And so please subscribe and like this video. Uh, and then we'll catch you next month to answer your question. Deuces.